Yeshua came back to Jerusalem and spent the next three years teaching and loving and sharing and suffering. Suffering. Because so much of the human journey has been and still is about suffering. And then to culminate all the suffering, of course, his execution, crucifixion. It was kind of like almost an exclamation point on human suffering. Upon his death, as he transitioned to the other side, he and each and every one of you birthed Merlin. It wasn't in his lifetime, it was at the point of his death. He birthed Merlin. And so you could say each and every one of you had a part in that. He birthed Merlin to say, we must keep magic on this planet. I am Adamas. I come from Saint-Germain. But I am Adamas now with each and every one of you. Together we're going to explore new energy. It has a way of, I'm going to say, blowing your mind. You're going to find out that fact is no longer. Because you're seeing only one aspect or one potential of whatever it is, and there's so much more. No matter what happens, remember that you have every tool to handle it. Every tool. Problems related to physical health, also, in many cases, the mental health, relate to ancestral karma. Come to your senses about your own spiritual journey. There is no journey. Ha! Joke's on you. Come to your senses. But the other side of all that is come to your senses, your sensuality. When you encounter that fear, or the doubt, or whatever it happens to be, go all the way through it. Don't stop. You are the life. Allow energy now to support your creations. The struggle begins when I want to convince my doubting aspect to not have doubt. So everyone has his role and they can stay there. So the doubting aspect can doubt, and I don't care. The fear aspect can fear, and I don't care. And I'm not open for their advice anymore. So I just let them sit there. And who was the one who was really getting us to this point? It was 10 years with the Dhammas. And if we wouldn't have done this, Merling wouldn't be there today here with us. And he was, so we made it. <laughs> and here you are on Angel's Peak, letting it all come back to you. From this perspective, you see the wisdom. You can see the point of that problem. You can see how that challenge expanded your awareness. can really see the big picture. And as you allow that wisdom to come back, you light up. Your stories take flight. Your stories take on a life of their own in a way. You feel your wisdom, and you contribute to this incredible library. This is to Adamus, and you know, how the f hell did you get back in that crystal thing? I don't know, but I'm gonna be talking to him mostly today. If you're really that big of a deal up there, what is your official title? I mean, president? Presidents get elected, my friend. And you are the self-appointed muckety muck. 
have you noticed he invented everything? Are you thirsty? Because you know, I invented thirst. I did. I in, so you could be in touch with your body's hydration. I invented thirst, and then I invented water to quench the thirst. That was me. Yes, that was me. I did all of that. Um, we revere him quite a bit, but he's such a loving teacher, Shambra. He would never think Shambra was an idiot while they were answering a question. He'd wait until after they were done answering and then think they were an idiot. But it, allowing is allowing yourself in. This is why Adamus is so enlightened. He's completely full of himself. Beyond space and time, we have a name for Adamus. Oh, man. Adamus, commanding the energies. He a pip, baby. He a pip. He's a pip consciousness. We all know him as the pimp consciousness up there in the MC. All right, so here we are in, in Atlantis, laying down there like a little slave boy, very, uh, very, very uh, observant, very obedient slave boy. That's, that's Adamus. There's a lot of others who are channeling Saint Germain, and maybe you want to distinguish yourself a bit. Maybe you want to update your name. And he thought about it for a moment and. Oh, a smile kind of passed his face and said, Yes, 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 uh, I get your point here. I get your point. And he said, How about Lord Reginald Archibald Hollingsworth? <laughs> I said under my breath, uh, not thinking you could hear, I, I thought to myself, Dumbass. But him being the Ascended Master could hear it even though there were no words, and he said, Yes, I love it, Adamus, I love it. <laughs> Adamus. Dumbass Saint Germain. <laughs> I got you, baby. <laughs> oh, did I get you? <laughs> Go ahead. Stepping out of the mind. Yes. Speak about it. Clean up after him. <laughs> Which one got him out of the mind? It's a big decision. Uh, it's a huge decision. An awakening isn't anything that's going to make you richer or younger or healthier or even happier. Uh, it's not going to do any of those. And then they're going to say, well, then why the, should I do it? I just finally got to the point where I had no other choice. Like, I had several kind of crazy experiences in my life that were really mind blowing but I always manage to explain them away. It's not necessarily a choice that you're making. It's a choice that you've made already on a very deep level. Uh, and then they're going to say, but what do I get out of this? Uh, and probably that answer would be sovereignty. I am human. 
I am the energy. I am human. I am the energy. And there will come a day soon when we drop the word human. I am energy. I am the Merlin. I am that I am. But your role right now as the human facet, who can also at any time tap into, join with the Merlin, with the I am, your role now as the human is to be the energy. This is monumental. Never has this taken place in human history. 